Hello and welcome to suffocation guarantee. I mean oxygen not included because um <laughs> I forgot how bad it was. We are going to need to uh get some oxygen very soon. So my plan we need to dig down here, get that heat, and use that heat so I can get some liquid water. Emphasis on the liquid, and then hopefully uh, electrolyze it into some oxygen and hydrogen, which I am tempted to just let it flow up. Uh, I'm just not entirely sure how smart that's gonna be. Or, something I just realized, we can pump up the brine and refine it because then it will be 30 degrees Celsius regardless of what the starting temperature is. I should have done that. Why didn't I do that before? That's gonna be way easier than getting stuff down here. Also, this thing produces power, right? It's high temperature materials received. What? I, I know what a temperature is, game dad. High temperature materials. We'll figure that out once we get to it. Um. Wait. Aww. So that's a geofence. Clear block geofence. But it's not blocked? You know, it's fine. I, I'm just not gonna worry about it. It's something we need to worry about when we're not suffocating. Um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is go here and start collecting some of that brine because we need that right now. Um, what would be the best way to get there? Probably through here. Take a little rest of all right, uh, let's do that here. This here, refinement. Ooh, I don't have that research yet. Uh, we're working on it. We're literally working on it right now. Oh boy. Well, let's go. So let's put that priority up. And get the power and such here as well at 7 priority. It's granite. Uh, yeah, let's do it like that first. And we can have power right here by way of manual generator and a battery. And a ladder. We can actually get there. Okay. Um, electrolyzer I will place right here. Oh, right, I got a petroleum generator. I really forgot about that. Also, when does ethanol freeze? Let me just quickly double check. I thought it was like minus 30 or something? Oh no, never mind. Minus 115. That's not something to worry about. Like, if the temperatures in my base get to that cold, I think freezing ethanol is the least thing, or the least important thing to worry about. I don't think it's that bad. Oh, but yeah, no, hang on. I, I need insulated pipe here. Where do I unlock my insulated pipes? Right here, so... Oh, that's still far away! Oh. No. 
Oh right, I have a radiation dew. Oh, it was almost suffocating. Good job. Proud of you, buddy. So what do these things require? Eyes? Yeah. So it's been a while since I played this save. Like, I have been playing another save on the side in... Um, well, basically off stream. Because I wanted to learn some of the mechanics again so I didn't play around here. So I could get a little bit of a refresher. What is this? Ice, cobalt, visaline? What biome is this? It's interesting. Ooh, also anti-entropy nullify. Not that I need to cool down my planet, but... Oh... Wait, are those the only geofen- Oh, I see- Is that fossilized poop that's inside this thing? Also welcoming, um, I'll just call you dancing if that's okay. <laughs> but hello to Titan, Neron, Carmok, Mike, and Wisepot. Welcome in. And, well, dancing is all, of course. I don't think it's safe for me to say that full name on Twitch, so my apologies. <laughs> I'd rather not take a chance. Um. Wait, there's liquid water here? Why? Huh. Okay. Anyway, how is it going here? Seems to be going okay. How's the oxygen? Oof. I should have done that a long time ago. Right, this thing. Uh, let me close that for now. Because the more carbon dioxide I cause to flow down, the more issues I'm gonna create for myself. Also, what temperature are these allowed to be? Minus 80 to zero. So what I can do is put my farm right here. Because this is at minus 50, right? Yeah, minus 55.1. Um... Yeah, I think that would be smart if I were to make my arms up here. Come on, Travala. Come in. We need that research ASAP. Right, this is my... Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, I need to be careful about that. Um... I need to make sure it doesn't flow into here because it's currently my, well, ethanol source. And to be fair, I should probably make like ethanol storage down here. But I need my water reservoir for that first. Ooh. It's a good thing I placed that when I did, didn't I? I literally just prevented that from being an issue. I'm proud of myself for that. Okay, let's bring that here. Let's quickly start researching this. And then we can place a desalinator right here. No, that's gonna drown. Wait, hang on. Um, refinement, desalinator, let's do it like, yeah, let's do it here. We'll have this one going like, 
probably like this, so I can have this one there once I have my insulated pipes. Because if I were to just have water right now, um, <laughs> I'd cause some issues. Although, hang on, if I place two airflow tiles here, I might be able to just place the electrolyzer here as well. And then it can be okay for me to get the water in there. We'll see how well that goes. But I, uh, at least as a temporary measure, because a base is not supposed to have this like this much red in its oxygen overlay. <laughs> I do have some normal oxygen, but it's probably all flowing up here. Yeah. Also, get that, and let's turn down the priority back down to five instead of seven. I make this six. And then I can make this all eight. Make this nine. Okay, electrolytes are built. Now we should hopefully be able to get some water from it. Although I do need to keep in mind that that will heat up this area. Like this will produce quite a bit of heat. Because... This will have very cold brine going in here, so that will cool it down a little. But it will refine it into, I think, 30 degrees Celsius. So, get up to 30 degrees Celsius, and then this should put it out at like 40. It will be at least 70 degrees Celsius or hotter if the input materials are hotter. I did not realize it was 70. Wow. I've always seen him at 40. Oh well. Or he's more better. In this situation at least. So let me just get a door here. I think it, it'll be a bit important to have a door here. And yes, I am aware that this won't be able to run constantly, but that's gonna be fine. But let's keep that door closed for now. Bird! Did you just drop? Yep, they did drop stuff down there. Do I even have a storage set up yet? Eh. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Clutch press, gas filter, and liquid filter. Very nice. Oh! Here we go. Oxygen? Please? Oh. Wait, did I? I did a really dumb. Wow. Okay, one moment. Nobody saw that, okay? I, I totally didn't make that mistake. That did not happen. Exactly, Kelsomar. Exactly. So what? Hey, pet player. Good time zone to you. And they're gone. just need to keep an eye on the hydrogen which i guess also makes it a good thing that i close off this so hydrogen can't really get in here for now at least but i do need dupes to go in here eventually so it might be worthwhile setting up a liquid lock here oh well later at least what wait huh Oh, never mind. It's fine. Um, it's because there was still something left over there. Oh, co wait. Cold damage? What? Oh, 22.5? Oh, well, that's a problem. Uh-huh. Oops. 
Also, why is this not happening right now? Bird. Bird! Bird! Why? Peace, bird. Or Hassan, that's fine as well. As long as it gets done, I'm not too fussy about it. What? Huh? Produces water when in use. It will be the combined temperature of the input materials. You're kidding. I thought it was at 30. Huh? Game. Yeah, that is not ideal. Okay, fine. Um, okay, and another thing I might be able to quickly do. It's all gonna be very cold. It's this. And then we have this one here because I do have that ice. Let's not break the oxalite because that is going to be my savior here. For the time being, at least. Also, let me quickly disconnect the power because if I have a bunch of brine in here, it's. It's just going to cause issues. do is hopefully just disconnect this area from all the cold stuff. Oxalite will be fine. That will get rid of itself later because right now I do need the oxygen here. So how's it going here? Uh, yeah. Building broken? Oh no! Anyway. That is a lot of carbon dioxide in there. Oh no. When I open that, it's gonna be like opening a dam for the first time. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Popped eardrums? Why? Oh. Oh well, that's gonna cause an issue. like it if you guys actually worked on this more I can get over here probably not too bad of a thing to eventually work toward Really, bird? Really? I'm so tempted to just put him on a schedule where he's not allowed to sleep or have downtime. Great, now you're heat resistant. Congratulations. Rest. 
There we go. Okay, now I can get water in here. Nobody wants to do that. Okay, hang on. Storing. Who do I want stuff? Oh, who do I want to have store stuff? I, I don't really have anyone, so let me just get a alert real quick. Come on, Meep. There we go. There we go. Yes! Water! Oxygen! Max gas pressure. Oh, well, mm -hmm. That should fix itself, hopefully. Which other thing I'm worried about now is the fact that this is very steadily going down in temperature. So it's gonna start breaking soon. So I really need the insulated liquid. Well, speak of the devil. See if we can make that happen in time. And in the meantime, we can go down here and open up this oxygen. And get my liquid reservoirs in place. I can probably... Sh nah, I do need to ship it from up here. Yeah, then I can connect these two and have this one with that one. Yeah. So I have a little bit of a buffer. Just in case. Glad I added a door here. Let me actually lock it just in case, you know? Because if that brine were to come down, it would probably cause some issues. Especially because I need that ethanol to be somewhere else. How is that water doing right now? 0 0.3 degrees Celsius? 0 0.7? 0 0.6? 0 0.2? Ah, oh, it's still cooling down. But is that because the pipe itself is cold? Oof, the pipe... Yep, okay, the pipe itself is cold. Ooh, that's not fun. Oh well. I am getting a little bit of oxygen into my base, luckily. But, I do need this. Because down here is where the pressure is a little bit... Sad. A little bit lackluster. Although now I'm gonna have a gas warfare between hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. Hydrogen seems to be going up though, so that's good. Also, I can actually. Ooh, that's liquid carbon dioxide. Ooh, that's my minus 60! Ouch. Okay, fine, then I'll just open up like this. 
So now I can have those plants in there. Um... Love a liquid hot lo lock. Sorry, I just looked at the ethanol and I was like, why is it not freezing? No, it freezes at minus 100 something. Um, how can I do a liquid lock here? Liquid lock being a airtight airlock. Can be considered cheesy, but worry about that later. It's not that important. Okay, research. What else to research? Insulated? No. I don't care if a bit of heat uh, seeps into my base or a bit of cold. Everything is cold already, so maybe getting some fire poles might be smart because I am building quite tall. We'll save my duplicates a bit of time. Ah, cool. They've what? Crude oil? What? How? Apparently I can make solid crude oil. What is crystal cyclical fire, but it looks like a metal. I got very confused. I was like, wait, what? Oh apparently you can heat up tallow to get crude oil. That's interesting. But yeah, crude oil I can turn into petroleum and natural gas. Six tons per cycle. Wow. And water. Yeah, it might be worthwhile getting an oil refinery. Although I need to make sure I can. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that's spicy! That's incredibly spicy. Just a bunch of very hot obsidian. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can make use of it technically, but I don't know if I should just yet. I will, but not right now. Ah, there we go. Water can go through. You are waiting on the dupe. Okay, you know what? I think the next principle, I will hopefully pick up a dupe with a lot of strength because I need it tidier or, well, the janitor really. Also, are you not connected to any power? No, you're not. What? I guess I can start working on my water handling system. Husbandry construction, medicine, athletics. Uh. Seen medicine husbandry. So you have plus four husbandry, but I already have farmer. Yeah, no, I'll take Quinn. And I'll spec you to be a medicine person who will tidy when they're not busy doing other things. So you will do that. And then you will store stuff. And, well, let's do tidying. Tidying. The colony appears to be doing decently. Uh, I wouldn't 
say that just yet. <laughs> I'm still getting to a point where I need some more ice and such. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, that's gonna be fine. <laughs> that is gonna cause some issues, however. Okay, let me just do that. Loops are still alive, so that's decent enough in your book. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm currently blasting oxygen and hydrogen into my base, so hopefully that will fix some stuff. And I also need to get rid of this carbon dioxide. I needed to find a way around. Also, talking about carbon dioxide, these plants. Let me just go up here. Uh, I can save that tree, I don't need to break it. Do I? Yeah, no, I do need to break it. Well, that's a shame. I couldn't have grown on snow. And what I can do is have a lock here. And that should allow me to get in there. Assuming that ethanol actually flows down here, I can mop up the extra ethanol. Yeah, 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 yeah. That might work. Also, when did crude oil freeze again? Minus 40. Mm. Minus 40. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit worrying because I am getting at the minus 40 degrees mark. Starvation? Why are you starving? I literally have 145 kilocalories available. You have no reason to be starving. Oh, right. Um, about the tallow. You, Bamoth. So you produce Bamoth patty, which I can turn into phosphorite and clay. But the Bamoth itself, when killed, it drops me- wait, what? How do I get tallow then? Hang on. But I can share it for reed fiber. Tallow is made from... Oh, the spigot seal! From a deceased spigot seal. So you eat bonbon tree and produce ethanol? What does a bonbon tree need to grow? Just snow? Really? Okay, let's make a little farming area for him then. But before I do anything, uh, let's go make some fire poles down here. Oh. Probably do it on the. Well, actually, it's fine. That thing won't be there for long anyway. Ah, cool. This is done. So now I can cut you. And I can connect the things. There we go. At least power isn't an issue for me right now. Like, how much does that thing produce? 2000? Yeah. Nice. I'm lazy dupe. Won't even go eat. Yeah. You have to tell them to do everything, apparently. At least I don't have to tell them where to breathe and how to breathe. That would be uh, concerning. Okay, beware for very shiny colors. Ah! 
There we go. Um, yeah, I need airflow tiles in the top ones now. actually produce carbon dioxide and blood quarter carbon dioxide oh not too much though yeah that is stuff that i need to have flow down here and hope oh wait a minute i might be able to make a little carbon dioxide base in here if i remove this then i can open up this a bit more yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That might just work. So I have you go down here. I can have more farm tiles here. Open up this. And then place a tile on these two here. But for that I need to remove that plant. Also no resource focus selected. Let's get smelting. Hey, Ravy. And yes, I am back streaming this, and I'm glad you were looking forward to it. So I was looking forward to playing this as well. Also like this. One, two, three. And then this should catch some of the carbon dioxide. It will flow down from here. So, you open up this like this. And probably remove this door and replace it, but. Ah, nah. Well. Yeah, I probably should. I don't need my dupes to go through here anymore. Uh, let's just have them make one of the tiles so they do so they can't escape without washing their hands. That's a lot of polluted water I have over there. Bird, what are you doing? lungs? My yucky lungs. Lung full of polluted oxygen. Where? Oh, from that polluted water. Okay, hang on. Let me just move from here. It won't just get out without washing hands? Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. In fact, I'd be very surprised if one didn't get out without washing their hands. Oh, bleach stone. Right, that's a thing. Hey, coffee house vibes. Welcome in. water, no water, of course. Did you say you were just gonna do that, Quinn? Or am I just going crazy? Yeah, 
yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Hope my dupes are doing better as well because uh, <laughs> oxygen is still very much not included. Um, oh, wow, that's a lot of ethanol in here. How much can I store in one of these tanks? Five tons, so only five squares. Yeah, okay, that. Yeah, okay. Cinnabar ore to mercury? Huh. That is interesting. Ah, but I have light at my research. That's good. Those things are getting thirsty. That's good. Oh, one might hope at least. Um, I can place more plants here. That carbon dioxide is flowing down, right? Yes. Empty pipe. Huh? It requires emptying, but it doesn't have a errand to do the emptying? Auto bottle on. There we go. I did not realize I just had bottled water in places. Huh, the more you know. But hey, my base is warming up now as well because I'm throwing 70 degrees Celsius oxygen into my base at the moment. That's good for a colony, right? Ah, metal refinery. Talking about stuff being good for a colony. Um. Actually, out of curiosity, methanol is at minus that. When does it. Okay. I might be able to heat up the methanol. And then psych would through my base. Um, you know, that's it's a stupid idea that might just work. So instead of having the methanol immediately going into these reservoirs, I can first have it be in my metal refinery. And then use it to create metal, which will heat up the liquid significantly. And I can then loop the heat through my base. It might be stupid enough to work. For it to work, I do need to do a little bit of planning. So this is going to be 14 wide. Let's take out 7, place you in the center. Eh. Uh, Let's really do proper center. 
So let's place it here for now. And we'll have two liquid reservoirs. We'll have one for input. And one for output. So you... Go in here. And I'll give you priority as well. Then you can do it like this. Uh, I need to do it differently. Because by placing a bridge here, I'm giving this side priority over going through the pipes. Although, maybe I don't want to do it there yet, and maybe I just want to loop this first and after the loop put it... Yeah, no, I should have the hot liquid go through here. Um, that actually needs to be cold. So, let's just use a liquid bridge here. You go through the bedrooms. Dining hall. And then you connect here. So we'll have a liquid bridge right here. There we go. Stupid is, stupid does. If it ain't stupid if... Oh, it ain't stupid if it works. Fair enough. We'll see though. This might actually end up being a disaster anyway. That thing is four tall, right? Yes, it is. Uh, uh, we'll be fine because you can dig seven if you have stairs above it. So, no, not like that. You're doing this, you can dig down here as well and four up. Get rid of that snow. And then I can have a large power transformer right here. Need one right here as well. But first, I need my conductive wire, which I'll move here. Ah, I need more. Refined metals shouldn't be a problem for long, as soon as I get the metal refinery working, which will significantly heat up my base. But that will be fine. And I also need to keep in mind that this here um, is going to get drained very quickly as well. Also, duplicate skills. Let's see. Anything we want. You. Demolition. Yes. Very good to have. Hazmat digging? Yep. We can support that. Meep! What do you want to do, buddy? Running too? Meh. Uh, you do want to learn mechatronics engineering, which... I suppose isn't too bad, but I'd rather have you get some more cuisine skill. And you, crit or ranching, that's gonna be an important one. Wait, why do you have ranching? Oh well. You. Applied science. I do have a lot of wood here. It's good. Also, how does that regrow for you guys? 
Just by eating? Okay. Fair enough. Okay, well, oxygen is doing better. That's good. Go, bird, go! Shitty surroundings. Oh, fair enough. Oh, that reminds me. I actually need to start taming some Bamaks. Um, what do those bloom squashes need? Ethanol? Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Ooh, new print. Mallow seeds? Sure. I'm not really that interested in those other dupes. Also, I need to start preparing a ranch here for the trees. And also, a uh, liquid pump, most likely. What I'm gonna do is have a tile here. Liquid pump here. Oh. A grooming station here. And a drop off right here, but I cannot place it there. And then it's gonna be one, two in between each one because trees. I wait, are those trees three by three? Yeah, they're three by three. Okay, hang on. Oh, wait, no, then it is two. No, never mind. My mage is having some issues doing the brain. There. And then that is gonna be a beautiful ranch. Hey, we're getting some iron. I did queue up iron, right? Yes, okay. <laughs> Just had to double check. Because in the playthrough I've been doing off the side, I've been using a lot of um, copper. So I just had to make sure I didn't autopilot toward the wrong material. Your bird, you go. You go. Oh, hey, Pip. You know, the scary thing here about that obsidian, um. Not only is it very hot, I don't know if there's anything else here. I don't see any neutronium. So I don't know if I can get oil from that area there. It's a little bit concerning. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Oh, wait, never mind, it's fine, I have a built-in safety feature. It's too cold there, anyway. Hmm. 
Let me just suppress the current so when I don't have any research, they're not gonna complain about like, eh, hey, there's no research for us to do. Because it's, I don't always want to do research. Sometimes I need to do more than I need enough of research that I'm not gonna use. Ah, but hey. This is starting to work. Oh, see, there, there I go, already defaulting to stuff. Okay, I can do that. Ethanol, that will be cool. Oh, cool. Um, the ethanol is going in here. And then I can do it like this. So the reason why I'm doing it the way I'm doing here, for those who are unaware of how the mechanics work with the liquid bridges. A liquid bridge will try to put stuff onto the pipe unless that pipe is occupied. The green output pipe. So when there's already something in this pipe, the liquid bridge will not push its contents. It will only push its contents if it can merge with the existing contents in this pipe. So, for example, you can have 10 kilograms of liquid flowing through a pipe. So, if there's 5 kilograms in a pipe here, the liquid bridge can add another 5 kilograms of that same material onto the pipe. So, by doing this, I'm giving priority to this system right here. Which will be the hot or, well, um... The heating... Methanol? Oh, methanol? No, ethanol. Not methanol. So, it should hopefully do what I want it to do and warm up my base. Which is weird, like, usually I have a pipe for cooling my base, and not for heating my base. <laughs> it, it feels so backwards. But I suppose that's how it is. You go here. Uh, I guess I can barely jump like this, so I get the power. I have to walk here and make this a priority eight, because as soon as I have my metal refinery up and running, I can actually refine a bunch of metals that I can then use to upgrade the rest of my power network. Because my idea for power is to have one transformer per layer of base so for example this layer will have the metal refinery and eventually the water refining well the yeah i guess water refining is a good way to put it so it's a t-junction with some kind of pressure equalizer on one leg but that's probably not explained in the game Uh... Sorry, I, my brain is not braining. <laughs> but probably just a mechanic. Probably. Also, that is a lot of carbon dioxide in here. Wait. So I have oxygen up here. I have oxygen up here. I have carbon dioxide in between here. Huh? I mean, I find it hilarious that it's in my eating areas. So, I'm just not gonna complain about it. Like, it's gonna work, I'm sure. Also, talking about stuff working, I can make this work. It'll be bigger. And I can have this as well. Which will be fine, it'll be built later. Okay, but you still have no power. Oh, because I don't have a bridge here. Oops. I need holes on floors. Yeah, I 
Yes, I do, but it'll be fine. It's not really causing any issues. My pneumatic door is entombed. What? <laughs> That's a new one. Also, I think I might need another construction person soon. Because Bert is a little bit overwhelmed right now. And if I do end up getting another construction person, I can always send them to another asteroid later. Once I'm done with them here. Also, um, a thing I like to do like when I'm in late game, which doesn't apply to now, is to make my new base in the void. Oh, well, in the void, like in space. Because I can get free... Um, I can get free light from there. I do need to be a little bit careful. And I can have my rockets really close by to my base, and it's easier to manage temperatures when you don't have any other gases you need to uh, keep an eye on. And it's just easier to build a base where you have all the space you need. So you can start planning out stuff. Although I suppose I can make that here as well. Ooh, snazzy your green suit. Did they just... Oh, wait, no, there it is. Uh, let's give that to Quinn. So now you need... Ooh, what have I done? Why am I doing this? Okay, hang on. That is not what I needed to do at all. Was I thinking? Was I thinking? I don't think I was thinking. Is this an asteroid? Never seen the start or of late game. Yes. Also, do I actually get... Uh, I see nectar meteor showers. Yeah, I do get meteor showers here. Okay, never mind. Base base is no go base. That's a shame. Okay, but this is working now? Yes, okay, cool. We can start working on that. So this is starting to work, very good. You thought it was deep because of the gravity? Wait, deep UG? Oh, on the ground. Ah. Yeah, I can see that. Although I do believe they actually tell you, like, uh, something happened to the home, well, not the home world, but something happened to a planet causing them, causing it to explode, which resulted in all these asteroids that you are now able to visit. There we go. Let's see, how hot is this ethanol? 26 at 3 degrees Celsius. That's... That's beautiful. It's a wonderful temperature right there.
Nice. And the iron is... how hot? 39? Nice. Okay, I think it's time for me to start working on mechatronics as well. Because I need to set up a proper storage. Well, quote unquote proper. The way I build storage is the way uh, you usually don't build storage. Like this is the normal way to store stuff. Like just have a bunch of storage bins. The way I like to store stuff is entirely different. So do I have the auto sweeper already? I don't think so. When do I get it? Ah! Working on that right now. Um. Am I using copper pipes for the heat transfer loops, or does the game care about that? Um, it doesn't really matter, because normal pipes do transfer a lot of heat, and I don't want to transfer all the heat into one area. So by keeping them as normal pipes, it, it will uh, do its job. Also, no, I'm not using floorage. Well, actually, it will be floorage. Oh no. Hmm. Oh well. Also, I should probably just make it here. But I'm here. Since this is gonna be more central in my bit. Yeah, hang on. Hang on a moment. Do it like this. Although, hang on, you are going to be uneven and that's kind of what I need. And I do have all my machines here, so hang on. Hang on. Yeah, this is uh, being overcomplicated greatly. So the middle is gonna be at seven, so that's gonna be right here. Make a little marker here. And two tiles like this. I have four spaces to have conveyor rail, which will be completely fine. Splitzy has had an effect on me. Oh no. I guess he has, hasn't he? Okay, but the pipes are what I need to make first. Go, dupes, go! Make them pipes! Speed! That's what we need. Stop doing- Oh, stop doing that iron. Oh, stop. Don't do it infinitely. Okay, uh, suppress current. I can technically get steel soon. 
I don't need it right now, however. Do I? No. No, I don't. Ah, auto suit. Good. Which I will have right here and here. We'll have automatic dispensers here. Uh, I am gonna need brine in here. Have conductive wire right here. So basically what I'm making here is a storage area where every single item I have will go into this bit right here. So I don't need to build massive upon massive arrays of storage. Just trust me when I say that that gets expensive quick. And not just in terms of space. Because then you also need to set up a bunch of sweepers if you want to automate some things. It's just... Ugh. It's not worth it. Oh, but I am going to need a separate storage for ice. Because ice can melt. Okay, maybe I'll just use this for liquefiables. Infinite storage in one block. Nice. Yes. Although the dangerous thing about it is that it will have a massive decor decrease. So I need to make sure my dupes don't get here as often. So at first I'm going to use automatic dispensers in the storage area itself. So dupes will get a little bit stressed out because it's so ugly. Which fair enough. Um... Once I have proper conveyor rails and such, I can just have loaders in places. So I can have a central conveyor network that just drops stuff in there. And then I can eventually ship stuff out as well. Darn. No extra builder. Also, do I have anybody who can learn mechatronics right now? Bird will not be happy to learn mechatronics. Well, technically Meep is able to. But I'd rather not risk it right now. I, I do need a cook. And let's get you- Why are you not happy? Oh, because you don't have a table yet. Uh, right. Oof, my dupes don't have tables. Yeah, uh, eventually once... I'm done with um, storage, I can also have auto sweepers in place where I know I'm gonna get a lot of items dropped. For example, the crusher and the refinery. Although, for the refinery, I probably need to set up a system that automatically turns off the refinery. Once a certain amount of resources is reached. So I can always have a supply of refined metal. That is going to be expensive to do. Okay, but how is the pipe? I need this? I need this. Priority 9. Come on, dupes. Come on. There we go. And that should start slowly warming up this area. 12.5, 12.4, 12 12.3. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. 
It just needs to smelt a lot of iron now. Let's get this here. And also let's get steel. Oh, I, I haven't discovered steel yet. But I need refined carbon first. Uh, let's place a hill in here. Shame on me for making the meat off the floor like savages. Well, they are! Like, when they do need to be told to wash their hands before they leave the bathroom, they're savages. Like, they'd be very happy to just... Like, eat their meal on the toilet after wiping. And before washing their hands. Like, that's how savage they truly are. That's not even with my input. I literally cannot stop them. Well, this is my best way of stopping them, but... Ah, there we go. Conveyor loader. So we place these here. I guess I don't really need that. So for example, we can have a loader here that will pay rel into here. And then we can have a couple of those loaders around the base so they don't have to walk as much. Because dupe's lazy. And, eventually, we can have Sweepy! Real Sweepy Bot. Which we can use to automatically uh, like clean up areas here. But I need Mechatronics Engineering. <laughs> okay, bird. See, they're hungry so they go to the toilet. Like, huh? Why? Huh? <laughs> Crazy dupes. Oh, but look at that oxygen! Oh, that's glorious. That is glorious. And also, let's get this done. Because that will get me some oxalite, which is going to be relatively important. Hey, salt water geyser! That's at minus 10, right? Wait, no, 95! Oh! Oh! Also, buddy, are you okay? You don't look okay. <laughs> Wait, hand scanner? Also, I should probably inspect all of these things. Gives me some data banks. Oh! Personnel, try teleporter. I've discovered a functioning teleportation device with a pre programmed destination. It appears to go to another planetoid. And I'm fairly certain there's a return device on the other end. I could send a duplicate through safely if I desired. See destination. Veterani! Copper me- Oh! <gasps> Copper meteor shower. Ooh, and oil! Mix boulders, big light, cosmic radiation, always a good sound. Liquid sulfur geyser. Oh my. A rusty mid-sized world with an oily core. Duplicants must sift through a great deal of Rust and 
ocean to reach the price of this planetoid's oil. Ocean, space, magma, rust, sandstone, and oily. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Oh. I guess I can send a duplicate in there if I wanted to. Hmm. Tempting. It's very tempting. Ah, you. Uh, let's do suppress current so I don't have the message. And let's get... Um, wait, what? Wait, what? Wood to refined carbon. Is that because I didn't discover coal yet? Because that's coal. I mean, it makes sense. Charcoal is a type of coal. But yeah, there we go. That is going to create some heat as well. Right, how is this ethanol doing temperature wise? Minus eight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, now I can make some steel, which, to be fair, is probably going to cause some issues with temperature. Because iron heats stuff up by... 67.1 kilojoules of heat, and steel will provide 117. Let's try one steel for now. Not that I can make more, but... I always love how duplicates blast each other in the face when another one is on the toilet. Like, just spray some disinfectant on them. Because why would you let each other just poo in peace? So you need just snow. Minus 75 to minus 15, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We can have a critter drop off. I should probably go see if I can get some Bamux as well, because I am going to need that read fiber. Especially if I want to do space stuff later. And I'm not gonna grow any plants here, because I don't want to spend the ethanol on a Bamux. Sweetle! Oh, I mean, tidying is pretty good. Slow learner is a little bit annoying. Plus 12 strength and frostproof. This, oh, this Freya has never stopped anyone from eating yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. That... That's not okay. Yeah, um, welcome in the colony. Your entire job is to clean. Congratulations. Before you go, 
Let me get you some improved carrying as well. And then the next dupe, I'm probably gonna make a builder. Or somebody with mechatronics. Can Freya be trusted? She might just eat the yellow snow herself! Oh. Oh no. As long as she doesn't share it with anyone else, I guess. Can't really stop him. Ah, you. Don't need you. But I have steel. How much did that raise the temper in here? Ooh, a lot. But it didn't break. Well, yet. Nice. Space as a bamboo need. Sixteen. So I can only have six of them in one. Okay, that's fine. So let's see if I can research the agriculture stuff. Yes, I can. Good. Ew. Bam. Bamini and Bamath with a max of six critters. And then what I'm gonna do is just have. No, maybe not like that. Oh, I need more iron. Let's queue up like... 50? Like 5 tons of iron? Let's build one more generator as well. Good job, bird. Doing this stuff. I'm proud of you. Wait, you can make pipes out of steel? Did I see that correctly? Oh yeah! Huh. Interesting.
Oh, you're cramped? Wait, why are you cramped? Oh. Oh, there's probably some eggs. Oh well. It's fine. Does that actually reduce your happiness, though? No. Okay, good. Oh, what's happening here? Oh! I see. Also, ceramic. Uh, probably a good thing to get some of as well. Oh, but I need, need coal for that. And I don't know if refined carbon will count as a burnable. That's annoying. Oh well. Also, did they fix a thing here? Yes, they did. Oh wow, wait, what? It's just mercury here? Oh right, okay, no, hang on, never mind. Are you yodeling? Yes, you are! Effects plus 8 machinery, plus 8 construction, and plus 8 strength. Finding Doug a large phone that was stuck in your hand for over the weekend. Ooh. And that, that doesn't sound pleasant, but great to hear it's out now. I'm about to run out of ethanol in this thing here. Ah, uh, that will be fine. There's plenty of other ethanol sources I can tap into. I'm sure. Uh, actually, I say that, but, um... Oh, wait, never mind. There's a giant one here. It'll be fine. Fertilizer synthesizer. Yeah, no, conversation is fine. A radiation lamp. Miss radiation one power that can be collected by a rental generator. Oh, it needs uranium, though. That's a shame. Oh, this is an image and a half, isn't it? <laughs> nice. And this is where the spigots go. Where I only want eight of them. I do need them. Huh. It's creating some uh, liquid carbon dioxide, but that's fine. Not massive amounts that are coming through here. Yeah. 
It'll be dormant in 30 cycles, so that is when this will be cleaned up. Building entombment. Which one? Liquid pump. Oh, yeah, no, no kidding. That actually is entombed. Also, where is that polluted oxygen coming from? Oh. Right. Okay, one moment. No, don't build it out of steel, you dingus. That's way too expensive for wire. Are you insane? Output pipe pool. Oh yeah, it is too. Well, I just need to consume more power then. How do I consume more power? I guess I can start building heaters. No, I think that's gonna be a little bit overkill. Um, I should probably start working on getting some radiation stuff. I do need that science, so maybe making a science room somewhere is also going to be worthwhile. Yeah, let's make a science room. Stations, research station. Super compooper. And let's check on the duplicants. Squatch fries! Carpentry, digging, doctoring, digging, building, farming. Oh, ah, but snoring. Building rocketry. Let's get Steve. Also, a loudsleeper and a yodeler. That's amazing. But yeah, uh, let's get Steve for constructing a bit more. And digging, so we can send him into a different area soon. So I think it's gonna be important for you to get your digging skills first. Here go, Steve, go! Uh, I need to capture some mammoths now, so let's get you, you, and actually let's capture you. I'm kind of stuck there. And let's get you. Ah, and this is done. Cool. Thank you, Steve. Alright, my schedule should probably add some people to free. Uh, so we have a free to free. Let's get you on two. So we have Steve and Bert on different schedules. So I will always have a constructor. Meep is my cook and cleaner. Rhea is a cleaner and Queen. Is a queen? No, Quinn is a cleaner as well.
That is disturbing. Oh well. Wait, are you looking for f Oh, you're looking for food. Right, I need a feeder here. Bird is yodeling as well? Why do I- A yodeler singing frilled this duplicate this duplicate works at a higher tempo now. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got a spigot seal. Nice. What are the foxes eating? I think the pike apples. Yes. The pike apple bushes. Which I'm growing here for my own food as well, so. And you need snow, right? Yes. And then these little fellas will produce some ethanol for me. And I need you. Let's go to the V. Ah, here it is. Boom squash. How did you get there? Huh? Here you go, buddy. Nom 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 nom. Thank you for the bam of patty. Nom nom nom. A ah, manual rebel thing. Good. Ew, that's not gonna be large enough for my entire science area. It'll be fine for now, at least. I'm hoping I can change this to go here. I know other things can, I'm not sure about the manual rebel generator. But we shall see. so weird not to use power like or not a lot of power at least like currently i'm only using 120 watts or not even just 60. so weird so weird follow astronomy congratulations you're a nerd uh, meep. Um, I guess I should see if I can get Meep to do mechatronics as well. I can always shake him up when I need him not to be. Like when he gets too stressed. You're looking for food. Already? Buddy! You just ate and you're looking for food. That's a mood. 
That's a mood right there. Apparently I can only reduce- Oh, wait, no, oh, hang on, I see what the problem is. You just don't have access to many of them. Enable auto harvest. And maybe getting enough of farmer isn't a bad idea. I just need to redo my uh, things here. Also, uh, I should make clothing. I can make sweaters and stuff. That might be worthwhile doing. So I have my, oh, so my dupes have cold resistance. So I can have bigger bedrooms without them complaining about being cold. Also, how did you get in here, buddy? Move you to there. Wait, why can I move? Wait, huh? Wait, huh? So I... I'm confused. No one. Bonbon trees can shed most environmental debris and rarely become entombed. Entombed defense. This plant is ready to shake off unstable elements that threaten to entomb it. What? <laughs> what does it mean? Huh? I mean, I, I know what it means, but... Yeah, it... Huh? <laughs> That is so funky. I love it. So how's my oxygen doing right now? Yeah, it's relatively okay. Let's get a little bit more water into the system though. You guys don't have fertilization? There's no ice. Do I not have any more ice? No, I do. There's plenty of ice around. It's just not high priority. Which also means I am going to need another duplicate that can farm. Because my farmer is a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah, ranching and farming. And then tidying and probably storing. Yeah. Also, how's it going, Freya? Ah, you're. Well, technically, you are helping the farmers as well. I'm proud of you. Can I? Yes, yes, I can. I can make you face southeast. I mean, you're good at husbandry, I suppose. And digging, but I'm not sure about digging. Although I can get away with having Stinky be a jack of all trades because he's uh, he has shriveled taste buds. Yeah, Stinky, congratulations! You are a rancher and farmer, and digging afterwards. Congratulations! You can now do stuff. Please do not resist.
Hmm. Is there a conveyor sorter? We have conveyor shut off and conveyor element sensor. So, kinda, we can make a sorter. That is something to keep in mind. Go, Steve, go! Ruby, crop tanning. Congratulations, you're now a little bit better at farming, advanced medical care. Very good to have. Also, should I send someone? I'm kind of tempted to. Somebody is good at digging and building. Oh, that was Steve. I'm not sure that sent Steve. I can always send him back later, so it'll be fine. Hassan? I mean, Hassan is my dedicated miner, true. But once again, he's my dedicated miner. I'd rather keep my miner around for a bit longer because I do want to start clearing out the areas here. Also, do I have a receiver? Oh. I can't walk ready. Don't mind me just getting some uh, screenshots. <laughs> Teleport! Big brain jar! Poor Steve. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Hey! generator that's a conveyor loader so that's a oh what do you mean new friend this duplicant is happy to see a new face in the colony oh. yeah. it's that sample jar it's a naked hatch Corpse of a proto hatch creature meticulously preserved in a jar. Big brain in a jar. An abnormally large brain floating in embalming liquid to prevent decomps or decomposition. A shelf. Okay. And another teleporter. Which goes to. Unidentified object. Huh, okay. But anyway, uh, Steve here is gonna do some things for me. In fact, I might just see if I can defrost this friend. Rowan! Teleport!
for the duplicant and defrost a friend on another world. Apparently, I've never done that before. I just got an achievement for it. Steve has made an amazing discovery. A barely working cryo tank 3000 has been this or has been uncovered containing a Rowan inside a frozen state. In a frozen state. Steve was successful in following Rowan and this encounter has filled both duplicants with a sense of hope. Something they will desperately need to keep their morale up when facing the dangers ahead. Rowan is fouled! <laughs> Nice. Beds. Yeah, yeah, actually, that is a good point. I should get them some beds. Um. It is so weird to not start with anything. Um. Yeah, what they're gonna need to do is dig here. So, I'm gonna dig like this, break open this area, and dig like that. And then have them excavate this area. So what is Rowan good at? Operating and ranching. There. What other traits do you have? Flatulence. No, why? Oh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, well. Ah, media showers in one. Also, mini printing pod. Mini pod. A portable blue printer that produces new duplicates or care packages containing resources. Only one printing pod or mini pod is permitted per planetoid. It does emit light. If they teleport to other areas, can they take materials, food, water, and whatnot? Uh, teleporting a duplicate will not allow you to do that. However, there are um, teleporters around. So, for example, there is a supply teleporter input here, which will allow me to send stuff to an output on another planetoid. And there should also be a output here. So I can send stuff here as well. Rowan, what are you doing? You're not doing anything. I'm just letting Steve do all the hard work. Oh, because you don't have the drill. Okay, never mind. You don't have the drilling skill. That's why. manual generator right here we'll disable this one and we'll have a well eventually an oxygen diffuser but we need to do more mining first so let's do that and let's go here also we are very close to space More crops are wilting. Why? Oh, because you have no seed of. Wait, no. Huh? Oh, yeah, okay, because of these things. That's fine. That's fine. Also, how much ethanol do I have right now? Plenty stored? Yep, plenty stored. Oh, 
So how long does it take for you to grow? 4.5 cycles. And we'll see how long it takes for the branches to grow. But I can quickly and sneakily go here. 4.5. Interesting. Toilets! Oh, right. Um, they don't have any water really close by. We do have a salt water geyser which has 95 as options. I think so. Because one thing I do want to do is make sure these duplicants can survive on their own. Like give them a little bit of food, give them a little bit of uh, power and such. So I don't have to constantly pay attention to this. Also, 2 out of 10. Oh, but... Oh, yeah. No, never mind. I see. Also, uh, let's send Steve back and... Uh, yeah, let's send Steve back. Rowan. Are you farting, buddy? Motivated by friend. This duplicate feels motivated after meeting a long lost friend. Nice. Good job, Steve. Proud of you. You're just. Yeah, that's fine. Hi, Steve. And you can hopefully free yourself? No, you cannot. Well, that's an issue. What's... Uh, you do have quite a bit of oxygen, so you'll be okay for a little while. Not ideal, of course, but alas. So where was the geranium? Right here. <laughs> Made a mess. Oh no! Rowan! Disgusting, buddy. Oh, you're recharging. In five cycles, I'll be able to send another group. Okay. Uh, Yeah, he's farting up a storm in there. It's gonna be nasty when another duplicant goes there. Huh. It is a little bit concerning to see how... Well, first of all, how small this is. But how close it is to the surface. But I suppose it will make it easier to have rockets going back and forth. But I do need to set up a bunker thing for it. You know what? Um, because this is a relatively uh, dangerous situation for Steve right now, let me just force digging. Oh, yeah, force the digging here. Good job, Hassan. Hassan! Oh, you're recovering your breath. Fair enough. Why are you sleeping when there's a yellow alert? <sighs> you know what? Fine. Oh, 
that's gonna stress you out. Oh, it'll be fine. Alright, you can do stuff. Um... It's probably good for you to not be a farmer. Or maybe a rancher will be okay. But you are just gonna fart on a plant which they are not gonna like. Although, I can't see if I can give him mechatronics. Oh, buddy. He's about to pee himself. Steve. Yeah. It is uh, a bit sad, but hey, at least he'll be able to breathe a little bit more oxygen now. <laughs> because that's how pee works, right? <laughs> Rust! Or another science person. With degree science. Steve the farting avenger. The reason why is because I'm gonna need somebody who's gonna be a rocket pilot, so I'll need to get rid of one of- well, quote-unquote get rid of one of my scientists. Although that does sound very aggressive, doesn't it? Also, hey, Linjet! How you doing? Someone made a mess by lockers. Nah, I'm guessing it's just polluted ice that's melting. Uh, this is a new DLC, yes. But we are also using the spaced out, so... Thank you, Hassan. There we go. Go, Steve, go! Steve, what are you doing? Steve! 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 Oh my. Getting pet by a plant. Congratulations, Steve. right here. Also, I think I might need to close this off because this is getting a little bit too... too much carbon dioxide. about to say like I should probably be careful about which abyssalite I open up and uh yeah that's some spicy abyssalite oh also something I should probably do since I'm going down here first of all get rid of these plants uh 
and get some tiles up here. Same for here. Need to remove this. Congratulations, Bert. You're an idiot. Standing on the wrong side of uh, where you need to be. Welcome back. Which, the reason why I'm doing this is because then I can get an oxygen mask checkpoint here. Um, not sure if I want to do an oxygen mask or a suit. I can do both. Hang on. I just completely remove this here. Take out this. Get you to go like this. And mechanized airlocks to be here and here. Which means I need a furniture here, hanging pot. Then I can have you here. Construction 9 here. There you go, now you have freedom to go to the right. Congratulations. But yeah, then what I can do is have my suits here. And on this side have oxygen masks. But I can always go in here. But they will prefer the suits. Because it's closer to them. Although the problem is they will probably... Try to go here with the masks. And then leave. So I am going to need a checkpoint here. I think it's time for a duplicate checkpoint. Oh, but I cannot make it. No. Hmm. Oh, I should probably research the suits. Let's see what you're going to do. Have you not been mining, buddy? You've decorated the place, though. I. <laughs> okay. I I did not know you were a sticker bomber. But sure. Ah, good job, buddy. More oxygen for you to breathe in because you're. Well, wetting yourself. Okay. 
you're just doing your things, that's fine. Also, beds? Do I not have enough beds? No, I don't. That's a shame. Hold on, at least. How big is this? Nine. Nine. So, have this here. Put you here. The main problem you have is over planning the jobs you want them to do next. Mm hmm. I always just overload my dupes as well. Especially in the late game. So, I just get dupes so I can get more stuff done, and then it's like, oh shoot, I have too many dupes. And getting rid of a dupe is not easy. Does I start us to come in? Uh... I mean, I guess I can limit it for duplicants as well, so a few duplicants are only allowed to use oxygen masks, whilst other duplicants are allowed to use suits. Actually, that's not a bad way of going about things. So, for example, the builder and the miner are allowed to go in suits, but the rest need to go in oxygen masks. That might work. Anyway, um, let's remove these right now, because I do have a laboratory here, right? Oh, right, light source. Um, will this count as a light source? That's gonna count as a light source. Also, I need airflow tiles here because hydrogen is getting stuck in here. Anyway, now that I've done that, I can do this. And I can place some stations here, for example, the textile. Oh, that one is quite large. Uh, let's move you. And I need to redo my power soon as well, but I don't have the iron to. What to do as such. What is happening here? You need light? Why do you need light? That's funky looking ore. Okay, anyway. Uh, stations. No, not stations. Oh, I need one station at least. You. And I need refinement for the rock crusher. 
Don't want that one to be right here. No, don't build it out of steel. Also not out of lead. Well, lead might actually be okay, but... Also, every new wire, I, I will just make it out of iron. But I need to use more power so I can get more ethanol. Although, hang on. Something I might be able to do, which I probably shouldn't. Place this in the input. Uh, you already have five tons of ethanol. Okay, what I can do is quickly disconnect you and have you cycle to yourself. And then if I empty one pipe... I, I don't have the plumbing skill? Wow. Interesting. Uh, okay, well that makes it relatively easy. Made a mess. Bird! What? Why? Huh? But... Oh, the checkpoint, that's why. Duh. Ethanol's gone, good. Well, now I should be able to just do this, right? And that should fix it. Nope. <laughs> uh, I mean, if anything, I just need to quickly replace this reservoir in its entirety. Also, let's check on Rowan. Next print unavailable. Also, inspect. I can inspect my own mini pod? That's cute. Also, let's have you place a oxygen diffuser down here. Also, uh, food. 12 kilograms of food, so you have... 9 more cycles until you need to make your own food. Have you found any mealwood seeds? Yes, you have. Good. I'm just gonna let you grow your own mealwood. Atmosphere checkpoint will go right here once I have some more iron. Which should be getting fixed now. Just need to hook up this soon. Oh, 
Also, is this now a thing? No. It's apparently a light emitting lumen quartz is not a light source. The more you know. Which light does it actually emit though? Oh! A bad amount. I hope that's enough light though. How much light do you need? 300 lux. And you produce... Plenty. Ow. In fact, that's... One, two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. That's enough to at least grow three of the trees. So I need one more lumen quartz. Also, you are starving, poor thing. Uh... Yeah, you directly eat the stored nectar from a tree, which is a little bit worrying. Okay, Freya, I would appreciate it if you did this now. Very well. Let's have Stinky do it. Hey, he's emitting light. Hold on, Stinky. There we go. Oh, right. The branches are like that, aren't they? Every branch needs its own light. So you technically just need to move two to the left. So that's gonna be one to one, two. Well, I'll just keep it here for now. Nectar production halted, why? Branches must be fully grown and exposed to light in order to be productive. Oh no. I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't know that it would be so complicated to feed you. Also, I need to improve my food production. Can't help but notice how my food is constantly going down. I was at 175 low calories first, now I'm at 156. So it's too high pressure for this thing. Oh, it's 0 to 10,000. Yeah, okay. Oops. <laughs> oh well, it'll be fine. Also, look at that warm salt water. Ooh. I want to tap into that so badly. Who's dying? And why are we dying? So you barely have any more oxygen. I, I really want to send Rowan back home. I do. But um, I don't want to deal with the natural gas.
Also, let me get you a proper cult as well. Let's get you a do-it-yourself cult. Yes. Then you can have mealwood, so you can supply yourself with food. And you should probably see if you can get some more LG later. And let's activate this thing. Cold is seeping into this area though. That's not good. want sweetles, they'll just freeze to death. Who's suffocating? Stinky. Why are you suffocating, buddy? Ah! Look at this go. How warm is this? 28 degrees Celsius? 29? It is constantly going up, that's a little bit worrisome. But it'll be fine. And let's get some more ethanol in here. Should cool it down somewhat. There we go. Okay, who is getting stressed? Quinn, why are you getting stressed? Unrested, too bright. Huh? Oh well. So why is that thing being built out of lead? Okay, iron and iron. Wait a minute, let me guess your own. Yes. Do you? It is almost time for the switcheroo. Because the bottom one is gonna take this one. Uh, sorry, this one. And you can take this one. But it is going to require some. Ooh. Snow tile melted. <gasps> 2 dot six degrees Celsius. Oh! I see why. Ethanol getting a little bit too, uh, too hot. Oops. Suffocating? Who's suffocating? Rowan? Buddy! Why did you not build this then?
Well, that's a shame. Oh well, wasn't the great dupe anyway. No need to worry about that anymore. Yeah, like, to be honest, that duplicate would have probably just been in a rocket. Like, if uh, Rowan had survived. I, I don't like dealing with gassy dupes. They require so much engineering and it's just not worth it. Getting a lot of carbon dioxide in here now, though. They're just as bad as narcoleptic. Um. Yeah. All the narcoleptic dupes, you can just give them less time to sleep. Just use this natural stuff here. Which is what I was initially planning on doing, I believe. Although something I can do as well. Um, building broken. Liquid pipe. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Let me just quickly empty your storage. a gas storage for carbon dioxide which might not be a bad idea yeah you know what let's make a gas storage so i can have gas storage areas here yeah let's do that so let me go up four ladder and seven means ladders here and then do I have the automation signals I need no not yet and let's see how wide is this 16 You know, for five gas storages? Yeah, that's fine. So, the way I like to do my gas storage is by compressing it into a very tight space using a door compressor. Because as fun as gas tanks are, they're just too large. 
suffocating? Who is suffocating now? Okay, you know what, people? Let's just not go there. Like... Let's just not go inside there for now. We're not ready to go in there. Besides, we need to fix this first. Okay, has this cooled down a little bit? Yes, it has. Good. So now I can stop uh, Did I already put it loose? My brain is broken. Okay, hang on. So this goes into the input for here you go here, the output goes here. And then, ah, I see how I did it. Okay, hang on. What did I just cut in half? Nothing, okay, good. There we go. And how warm is this right now? 38, that's 7. Yeah, we need a bit more fresh ethanol in there. Pull it down. Star map location sensor. Interesting. Do I care about airflow here? Yeah, I, I kind of do. Right, they can use 480, can't they? Um, oh. 240. So I can't run them all at the same time? Through one wire? Because that's gonna be 480, So four storages? I guess it works out better with power. And then I can have my automation here. Well. 
I am going to need a little bit more iron, so I do need to start picking up some more ethanol. Oh, thank you, game. Which I will connect with a normal wire. Right here. Just move it like this then. Liquid bridge here, liquid bridge here, and here. And then another one right here. Which, to be fair, is going to be temporary. I will eventually make a proper ethanol distiller plant somewhere because I'm getting quite a bit of wood and I should be getting some stuff from this boy. Some ethanol. But, um... Disable auto harvest on those for now. So this guy can eat because how much percent do you want? 40 kilograms per cycle. And you are producing how much nectar? 8 grams per second. And a poor guy might starve still. I do need to get some more lights here. Although, to be fair, having lights here is not a bad thing. Because it's gonna consume more power. Let's see, how do I need to place the lights? One above every tree. That's awfully inefficient, but alas, it'll be fine. Speaking of lights, you also need lights. Okay, we are working on that, that's good. I need to remember how I did the door compressor again. It's totally not googling it right now. What? No, I would never. Filter gates right here. 
That one I do remember. I might hang on. So I am looking at Google right now for the door compressor. I it's a bunch of overcomplicated systems that really don't need to be as complicated. So I'm just quickly gonna load into my single player and get a screenshot. Which one was it? This one? Yes. So beware. I I, I did play uh, quite a bit of it on single player. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I had the reverse though, but... Which also, I can show you guys what I mean with a door compressor. Um, this is a door gas compressor. So basically the way this works is it allows air to flow in, traps the air here, pushes it forward, and basically allows you to, for example, milk a geyser. So the, these three open. Air flows up. And it's stored in here. So for example, that is how you can get 619 kilograms of natural gas in, well, times four into one space. And let's see, do I have a reverse version of it? Yes, I do. Here we go, that's what I needed. It's not complicated at all. Um, let me just quickly send the screenshot to myself. Yep. Load, beautiful friends. Yes. One eternity later. Okay. But that's a similar system that I want to set up here. So let's see. Automation. We have a buffer cage right here. Another one right here. Wire that goes like this. Not gates. Uh, oh, we're made out of steel. Never mind. We'll wait on that then. Is this made out of steel as well? Yes, it is. I want to make stuff out of steel. Fella drank. Using some ethanol for me to use. Good. Like, I would use a mini pump here, but I don't have a mini pump. Uh, huh? Wait, huh? What do you mean I can use a pipe to extract nectar from a tree? Huh? <laughs> huh?
Properties plastic monomer. Plastic monomers are organic compounds that can be processed into plastics that have valuable applications as advanced building materials. What? What? What do you mean? I can turn that into plastic? Whoa, 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 whoa. Converts petroleum or nectar into raw plastic. I did not know that. Oh my goodness, I... I would have been growing these trees way easier. Oh, but way easier? Way earlier, I mean. Way easier. What? Rain? Are you okay? But like, huh? Sign me up because I want plastic. Although I'm not sure if I want to harvest the outermost tree. Because this guy does need to eat. So I think I am going to not harvest one of them. Unless I can make like a liquid feeder, also that's adorable. Can I make a liquid feeder? I don't think so. But uh, yeah. Plastic, huh? That would be cool. Omelets. Sure. Nom 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 nom. And I guess I can make some more pie apple bushes as well. It's not very special food, but it's food. Food good. Consumed. Oh, it's transforming into ice again. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll not harvest the outermost one, but I will harvest those. And then I'll just very quickly set up something like this. Just to make it easy. I'm still waiting on a little bit more ethanol to be acquired as well. Did I power this thing? Yes, I did. Look at me go. My oxygen is doing fine currently, so I'm guessing it'll be fine. Also, something I want to set up here. You and... Oh, wait. Building without blood. Never mind. But I want to automatically get the oxalite into my uh, storage here. Which I'm going to need a little bit of ethanol.
That is so much carbon dioxide. Oh my goodness. That is not okay. What? No power wire connected. Oh, right. Never mind, that's fine. Also, uh, what states does Nectar have? Temperature over 160 it will turn into steam and sugar. It will also turn into ice and sugar at minus 82.5. So it is quite lenient. And it's good at absorbing radiation? Or is that how much it- hang on. Where's the lid? Let's check on abyssalite, because abyssalite is usually good against uranium. Oh, I know there's lead right here. Huh. Apparently nectar is better against radiation than lead. The more you know. Oh, I'm sure that's fine. No power wire connected. Oh, because it's unreachable. Right. Errands. Stinky. Current errands. Nice. Oh, also has the temperature here. Pretty good. Firebot builder. Ooh. That's going to be interesting. Polymer press. Do I need to fence out the steam? Yes, I do. Um... I think I'll see if I can just drop it here. Hey, Hillsman, you're sparkling. Meow. Speed. Okay. But how is the temperature of this now? Still a little bit high. Should be enough for me to start making some iron. We'll raise the temperature of ethanol by 54! I think having nectar in here might actually be better! Um... Oh, actually though, nectar is not that bad for the refinery. That... That feels so wrong. <laughs> but yeah, I... Hmm... Um. 
Also, Meep, how are you doing? Almost getting ready. Oh, almost ready for the electrical engineering. Uh, mechatronics engineering, I mean. Ah, but there we go. Cold ethanol is currently being imported. So you'll be at 14. And you're planning on raising it by... 54? Yeah. So let's empty the storage right now. So I can get the cold methanol in there. Also, let me just cancel everything here. Duplicants have died. Dead. Suffocation. Low morale? <gasps> oh no. Anyway. But yeah, I should be able to get some iron again now. Fingers crossed. And also, is there any ethanol in here now? No, not yet. A little bit more ethanol. Is the ethanol that's coming out? 63. Spicy. Okay. So now we do some fun things. So, agriculture consumable. Cultivatable soil, filtration medium, industrial ingredients, industrial product. We don't do liquefiable. Manufactured, we do miscellaneous, organic, rare, wait, rare resource. Curved lumen quartz? No. Uh, raw mineral, refined metal, seed, and sublimators as well. That all is allowed to go in here, but only on sweep. Right? Yes. So everything we sweep up will now be stored in here. And all ISIS and such will be stored in here. So we can finally start cleaning a little bit. It's about time as well for cleaning. Principles. Iron! You shouldn't have game. Very kind of you. Okay, I think it's gonna be time for the big switcheroo. In regards to power. something to eat but you're out of snacks oh, you and me both I'm sorry Gruz I know I shouldn't have done that to you because obviously it's my fault
You heard snacks, where snacks? <laughs> uh, I want snacks. I haven't really eaten anything today, apart from like a cookie. Which, to be fair, not a great breakfast. Um... Although I do have some dough I can use, eventually, but I was planning on using that when uh, I had a visitor. I could make some good snack. Right, bedrooms, that's what I needed to do. Um, and also, let's remove this. So I can start placing bedrooms here. So, ethanol, I don't need to have in here. Let's go with this. So, is it heating? Whoa! 11 degrees Celsius? Oh. Wow. Hey, more lumen quartz. You mind if I do? So I think I'm just gonna say, like, let's not put the ethanol in here. Um, unless it comes out of this area here. So what I'm gonna do is cut you loose. Get you in here. Does the battery actually go up when it's low? Because as soon as it reaches 5 kilojoules, it jumps to 15 kilojoules. Oh, well, activates the engines until 15 kilojoules. Also, unreachable food? What do you mean? Bird? What are you doing up there, buddy? Crazy, crazy boy. Old bedroom. That's not even a bedroom. What do you mean? <laughs> well, bird. But how big does a bedroom need to be? Twenty-four. Oh, bird. 24. Wow. I can't even support that. Okay, well, nobody's getting their private bedroom then.
<laughs> we keep stream through snacks not included. Oh dear. clothing do I have? None. Okay. How many dupes do I have? And I have one boat already, so I need nine more of these. And also, now that I have iron, I can start doing this. Also, you guys are making me really tempted to just end stream here so I can go get some food because I am hungry. Very hungry. Good job, Gosman. Right, anyway, now that I have the iron, I can start the automation. So, what we need is a filter gate right here. Because the topmost door is the last one that needs to open. And we'll have a buffer. Buffer, buffer, not gate. And then it's time for a another buffer like this, this, and this. What kind of food? Uh, a mini baguette. Have I had proper food today, given it's 16.25 for me? No, no I haven't. I only had a cookie. Cookie and a cup of milk. I am living the Santa life. <laughs> you thought you bring snacks to next stream and wait for me to get hungry and then Discord pictures of our snacks en masse. Squeaky. And yes, I'm gonna call you Squeaky here. Keep in mind that we can do the same to you. <laughs> you are a streamer as well. Be very cautious. Although I guess you can prepare for the snack apocalypse. Now that you are aware of what our intentions will be, or at least mine. What do you mean no power? Oh, that's why no power. There you go. Oh, it's so bright in here. It's like I'm putting these trees on a uh, display. Meteor showers. Oh. Ew. Just 
flame. Boogers are falling from the sky. Oh, and phosphorite as well. What's this? It's a booger. Ooh. That is one interesting looking asteroid. Phosphoric meteor. Phosphorite is a composite of sedimentary rock saturated with phosphate. Mm, yum. Also, I love how it's considered bait. Like this meteor is considered bait. I can understand the solid in agriculture. How hot is this actually? Ew! It actually emits a ton of polluted oxygen as well. Ew! Bang. But also a lot of slime lung. Ew! Ew! The more you watch, the less you understand about this game. Very fair. Basically, it's a try to survive and have fun dealing with temperatures. It's kind of like stationers in that way. Spiffy overalls. I mean, that's cool. Um... Do I need anyone? I guess Devon. Because 9 athletics is pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Sure, why not? Devon, congratulations, you are now a janitor. I know it's probably not what you signed up for, but... Alas. Whoa! Great meals. Plus 12. Wow. Okay. Uh, you need to do the data analysis. When? Oh, what did I tell you to do again? Athletics, medicine, and strength. Oh, improved carrying doesn't hurt to add. Improved farming is good for you to have. Steve! Digging. Stinky. Uh, let's do some more ranching. Farming is something you can always do, but ranching you need a specific skill to do, and you have data analysis. Very good. You had a good meal, so that's gonna be plus eight. Other than that, you have done some good things as well. Okay. Cool. Oh, right. Actually, there's a luxury barracks, isn't there? Yeah. One or more comfy beds. No cots on industrial machinery. Max size 64. This is a size of... Seven. Yeah, okay. So I can have the luxury cults in here. As soon as I get some plastic. Which is soon TM. Hopefully. So, how do I extract the nectar? Is it, it does say there's nectar in here. 
but it's not flowing out. Is there nectar in here? No. Is there anything I need to do? Like, do I need to give it power for some reason, or is it when I? Oh, you know, it might be when I cut it down. Twenty kilograms of nectar produced per harvest. There you go. So I'm gonna use the leftmost one as my uh, spigot seal feeding thing. Farmer's touch. Growth speed plus one hundred percent. What? 100%? Wow. That's good. Ah, okay, but let's see. Does this work? So we have this, and it does that door, that door, this. You need to go up to 10 seconds. Now we'll see if the dupes actually... Oh wait, no, hang on. I was about to say it like... Dupes are probably gonna derp out about this, but... I can just leave the doors open. to see if I can get a more reliable source of ethanol somewhere. You're crowded. Oh yeah, you are too. Oh, that's a shame. Time to murder. Actually, Stinky is pretty good at mining, so attacking is probably very good for Stinky to do as well. Hey buddy, looking for food? Yeah, I'm sorry buddy.
Oh. Even though that thing is very disturbing, it is quite cute. And it just pooped on the pump. Good job. Proud of you, buddy. And because we need this stuff to empty out, I am quickly gonna do something like this. Gas vent here. I know it will back up, but it's fine. I don't need it to be immediately cleared out. So we have gas vents here. This right here. Your birds just dropping the granite down there. Um, I mean, I guess I can make some more Elphiopharas as well to deal with that carbon dioxide. Yeah, I probably should. And I can also reach this. I do need this one as well. And then what I can do here is set up a gas pump with automation, two gas element sensors, and an end gate. Ooh, wait, hang on, I need more iron. Output pipe full! <gasps> oh no! Hmm, that's annoying. Oh wait, I never hooked up the power. Oh, it's a good thing I saw that now. Wow, look at Harold. Supplying, operating, quick learner, green thumb, germ resistant, and a pacifist. That's not too shabby. But no, I already have like 11 duplicates. I, I'm good on them for now. Because there is going to be a time where, even though I'm very busy right now, Duplicants won't be doing anything, because they suddenly did everything they needed to. So is this unreachable? No, it's not. Actually, 
actually. Uh, I can empty these two. So I have some cold ethanol. Is that what I can do? Let's get a mesh tile right here. Plumbing here. That. I can run. Oh, I could probably start removing some of the sconces. Ah, cool. Those things are gone. And then what I can say is drop all the ethanol into this room, because this is where the ethanol needs to be anyway. You just need to be a little bit careful about the ice, because that is going to F up this system big time. If it ends up melting, that is. But I just need to get more storage for ice? No, I just need to sweep the ice. Okay, well, in that case, let me just... Prioritize 9 sweep here. Okay, you. F and all. Priority 7. Or, well, that's a 9. This is ethanol. Pretty, pretty hot. Um, but this is gonna be very spicy. Very hot. Or is it? No, no, no. 40 degrees Celsius? That's not too shabby. Okay, but Meep, do you have your skill point yet? No. That's annoying. But hey, our base is slowly but surely being warmed up. Ever so slowly. I'm on guard. Interesting. one problem with the power here right now um so if i want to connect it to the system i probably have to route it all the way here which i can do or i connect this one to the left one and i have this one go down to here which might be better
Um, should I give Bird Heart digging? Probably not. Stinky, you, ranching, better, yes. Okay. But how ready is this thing? Oh, that thing is gonna eat regardless. Um, okay, well, in that case, let me just enable harvest on all of them. Like, to be fair, nectar would be great for plastic, but getting, um, getting ethanol, also not a bad thing. And these things will die and turn into tallow, which I arguably can also turn into plastic, so either way, it will be fine. Although I'm not sure how much you're actually eating. Um... You do give me a lot of wood, which, once again, I can turn into ethanol if I want to. Um, but yeah, you have productivity. So I don't think that me applying fertilizer to it will speed up the production of nectar. Are you starving? Yes, you are. It's a bit difficult to get reed fiber. Wait, how much does the lumen quartz actually emit? Thousand? Yeah, so you technically need to be exposed to sunlight in order to get max productivity, which is something I might be able to do soon-ish. But we'll see. Also, how's the oxygen situation here? Deteriorating. Right, because I don't have any water. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, refinement. Do I not have my water sip yet? No, no I don't. Huh. Wait. What? Oh, that's an ethanol distiller. I was about to say, like, isn't that a desalinator in there? Like, how did I build a desalinator? But... Also, why is there a buried object in oxygen? I... I don't know, and I don't know if I want to know. Mephic rock. No, it's, it's all down here. Um, hmm. Well, I guess I can set up my oxygen masks then. So it's a twenty seven, twenty 
20 settling. Okay. Stations. Oxygen mask dock. Plus 10 machinery? Sure. Having a dedicated operator is always a good thing. And then you can also be like supplying and storing and such. Well, maybe not supplying, but storing is always a good thing. Especially because I have a bunch of ice stuff here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why are you so hot? And what is your overheat temperature? That's a little bit worrying. Oh. A ton of iron now. What I need now is let's see, you to go down like this. Let's place a tile here. So the ventilation going from here. So I think I'll have oxygen. Oh, which one should I make oxygen? Well, that's something you need to think about. Water soup. I can place probably here to keep it simple. Water, water. 
It will be the combined temperature of the input materials. Okay, so I cannot do what I wanted to do. Hmm. I need to heat up this water first because otherwise it's just gonna turn into a bunch of ice by breaking my pipes. Ah, cool. I can activate the doors now. So this is slowly gonna pull a vacuum. It's good. But yeah, I'll have oxygen one in the left one. I say oxygen one because I do want two of them. Reason being, I want one for my suits and stuff and one for my base or air supply. So we'll have you here. Then you are gonna be base supply. And we'll have carbon dioxide in the middle one. Also, let's have this. Automation, gas element sensor. One, two. And an end gate. Doesn't mean I do probably need to move those. Because by having two gas element sensors here with an AND gate, I can say, like, if we have found a lot of... Like, if top and bottom is carbon dioxide, it's usually relatively safe to assume that the rest is also carbon dioxide. As long as there won't be any polluted water here, which I'm hoping won't be the case. Um... Let's see. One goes down here. Two goes here. And you go here. And then I don't need that one. Also don't need that, but I don't want to deconstruct that yet. Also, uh, I can get my yellow research going. What do I want to research? Uh, conveyors, that's the one. Yeah, conveyor receptacles and such. Was... Here. And then I can have you... So infinitely, because I don't get a steady supply of uranium, so I'm not too fussed about it. Oh! 
I did not realize we were that close to cycle 100. Hey! 100 cycles in this frozen asteroid thing. So I need seven masks. Talking about snacks. Right, they can also just drop oxalite down there. That's not good. Oh well. New principles are available. <gasps> Ethanol! Oh, again, you shouldn't have. Hey, who dropped their barbecue on the ground? Also, do I see that correctly? Do we have green temperatures in this base? <gasps> it's a miracle. Pleated uranium. It's a... Oh, it's a refined metal? That's interesting. Also, did we research a little or did the duplicant decide that it would be a very good time to stand in between the red bolt and the... Well, the red bolt input and output. What? Why are you not doing drunk health body temperature? Let's not ship it from my base anymore. And instead just ship it straight to this. Just ship like that. Also, that's a lot of ethanol being dropped there. Let's stop that for now. I mean, something I can do is get a temp shift plate with ice because I'm pretty sure I have a lot of very cold ice.
We'll see if this works. You are minus 13 degrees. Wait. My eyes not that cold? No, it is. Oh. oh, wait, hang on. I need to not have that ice there. Because that's gonna transform into water. That was almost a big mistake. Not that it's gonna heat up enough, but... Oh, right, these things are gonna heat up a bunch. Hmm... Let's see. Is this power mostly set up now? Yes, it is. So... You... Will disconnect from you. You will disconnect from you. You will deconstruct this and connect to you. And you are gonna connect to here. Right? Oh, yeah, I remember what I was gonna do. So you connect here. This, like this. Then you are currently overloaded. Why? Oh, because the pump. Hang on. I need to bridge the pump. Because potential power load is 1920 here. Potential power load on this one is quite insane, so maybe I will split them up. Yeah. So we'll have conductive wire here. Uh, can't because that bridge is in the way at the moment. Okay, thank you, game. Good to see that that bug is still here, I guess. You go here, you connect here. So let's snip you. Then do this.
And then I'll just have other workshops on this line. And the more passive things here. Okay, anyway, Meep. Do you have your skill point? Yes, you do. Congratulations, you are now a mechatronics engineer. Which means you are allowed to start building. Or is... hang on. This is a... specifically a build thing. That's annoying. Um, building... There you go. Go, Meep, go! Meep? Ah. It's working on it. I'm kind of tempted to just take out this seal right now because I'm not getting any nectar from these trees. I also don't know why the temperatures are so different. Oh well. Uh, you do it at minus 10. I guess I can use a carbon dioxide geyser to cool down stuff, but... Feels weird, like, I... I did not expect that I would need to cool down things. One auto sweeper, good. Because that means I can do this. Yeah. Now for the rest. Who peed their pants? Who did it? Who peed in bed? But I think I'm gonna call it here. I, I need to get food. It's 17 past 5 p.m. here and uh, I have yet to eat anything that's not a cookie. So, um, yeah, and you guys are making me hungry. So that's a lot of carbon dioxide everywhere. What happened? Well, we have something to work on for next stream. We need to get some proper water, so a way to heat up some stuff. Probably. And maybe we'll keep our base like extremely cold. Because I actually don't see a downside to it as long as I have all the warm coats we need. 
for every duplicate because then there's no downside other than having to cool stuff. Um, let's see, is there anybody we can raid into at the moment? Uh, not really, unfortunately. Oh well. Unless, hang on, hang on. Unless there's somebody from my Discord shenanigans. What did I'm really seeing? Oh well. But uh, yeah, I will be calling it here. Uh, we did some pretty good progress, I'd say. We discovered a new asteroid, we killed a duplicant on that asteroid because they were flatulent. What else are you gonna do with a flatulent dupe? Put him in a little corner to just fart all over the place so we can get some natural gas from him? That just sounds cruel. But uh, yeah. I will be back again probably Friday for some more Dwarf Runeers, aka Stationers with a Majestic Dwarf. Uh, I will be back on Saturday as well with some... probably some of Orion and Victoria, which I am really looking forward to, like both of them. I want to build a giant fleet in Aphorion, and I want to annihilate a swarm in Factoria. But uh, yeah, have a good one all, and I'll see you guys later. And to those who are without snacks, please fix that. Please take care of yourself, you deserve snacks. But yeah, have a good one. Bye bye!